everybody knows, everybody can feel it. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. They are now fear-mongering about democracy. Democracy is at stake. Democracy, the democracy itself is on the ballot. I agree. However, I don't agree with the Democrats saying that because I don't believe, I know, because we've done our homework, we actually read what they write, we read their plans, and we listen to what they actually say. We also watch what they actually do. Democracy is at stake. It is on the ballot. But it is not the Democrats that are defending. They're not defending our Constitution or the Republic. Now, they may want democracy, but we're not a democracy because democracies always fail. Why did Hillary Clinton say this over the weekend? Cut seven. I remember as a... As a young student, you know, trying to figure out how did people get basically um, drawn in by Hitler? How did that happen? And I'd watch newsreels and I'd see this guy standing up there ranting and raving and people shouting and raising their arms. I thought, what's happened to these people? Why did they believe that? You saw the rally in Ohio the other night. Trump is there ranting and raving for uh, more than an hour And you have these rows of young men with their arms raised. Hmm. I thought, what is going on? So there is a uh, real pressure. And I think I think it is fair to say we're in a struggle between democracy and autocracy. Okay, we Mm -hmm. are. We Mm -hmm. are. Except the ones who are saying that, like Hillary Clinton, are the ones calling half of the country Nazis, Nazis. Nazis were socialists. They believed in the giant, all-powerful state. They believed in a public-private partnership between business and government. There is only one party that fills that role, and it is not anyone who is a constitutional conservative. We are against those things. So why is she saying this? Well, let me show you what happened in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee uh, this weekend. This is a a town with, I think, more churches than gas stations. Look what happened just last week in Chattanooga. Legs spread for children at Chattanooga Pride Youth Day. And they had a... A trans show at Youth Day. All right, so... I should point out here that the kid in the background is, what, three? Yeah. Maybe? Well, that one's, in a, that one's in a stroller, and the other ones are probably three or four years old. Now, you have to ask yourself, what is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? Nothing is wrong with us. Some of the people who are there, something is wrong with them. I don't know what it is, but they don't seem to think that this is a problem at all to have guys dressed in drag grinding on the floor for an eight-year-old. Strippers to be watched by a 12-year-old. Okay? Incredible damage being done to our country right now. The good news is more and more people are waking up. I want to show you two things. First, I want to play a song uh, from a a group I found. This is a California group, okay? A group of musicians. um, I love all of their music. As I've discovered them over the summer, um, I'm listening to their music, and I'm like, I don't know who these guys are, but they are absolutely right on their lyrics, on some of their lyrics. They're amazing. This one is called Feed the Machine. If Klaus Schwab had an orchestra, they would play this song, I'm convinced, by Poor Man's Poison. Here's to the
That's poor man's poison. Now, I don't know what their politics are. I don't really care what their politics are. Um, the theme of that song is feed the machine. Just lie to the people to feed the machine. Do whatever you have to. They don't mean anything. They're all just slaves. Have you ever noticed that when somebody learns how to fly, for instance, the Wright brothers, there are people all over the world that claim they invented it at the same time? It always happens this way. Somebody learns or figures out how to make a light bulb, and somebody else does it at the same time someplace else, and they're completely disconnected. How is that? I believe there is a God. I believe, but you don't have to believe that. You would believe in, in just the universe. And we're all transmitters. We're, we're transmitters. We're beacons. And we're sending out signals. And it's going through the ether, through the universe. What we think we become. What we think is a beacon What's happening right now, people all over the world are saying the same things. You just heard this from a group from California. Let me play a piece of a speech of the woman the left is calling a fascist today. They are literally reporting on MSNBC today. Fascism has returned to Italy. Now, I don't know anything about this woman I know a couple of people that are Italians that voted for her. They're not fascists. In fact, they were always center, maybe left, but they've had enough. So what was the winning speech? What was her message that people were hearing? Remember, they're all slaves. Just feed the machine. Keep it running. We don't care about them. This is her speech asking the audience, why have we all gathered here? What are we all hearing? I'm going to translate. Why is the family an enemy? Why is the family so frightening? There's a single answer to these questions. Because it defines us. Because it's our identity. Because everything that defines us is now an enemy for those who would like us to no longer have an identity and simply be perfect consumer slaves. And so they attack our national identity. They attack our religious identity. They attack our gender identity and the family identity. I can't define myself as an Italian, Christian, woman, mother. No. I must be a citizen X, gender X, parent one, parent two. I must be a number. Because when I'm only a number, when I'm no longer having an identity or roots, then I will be the perfect slave at the mercy of financial speculators, the perfect consumer. That's the reason why. That's why we inspire so much fear. That's why this event inspires so much fear. Because we don't want to be numbers. We will defend the value of the human being, every single human being. Because each of us has a unique genetic code that is unrepeatable. And like it or not, that's sacred. We'll defend it. We'll defend God, country, and family. Those things that disgust people so much. We'll do it to defend our freedom because we will never be slaves and simple consumers at the mercy of a financial speculator. This is our mission. This is why I came here today. Chesterton wrote more than a century ago. Let me see if I can find it. Fires will be kindled to testify that two and two do make four. Swords will be drawn to prove that leaves are green in the summer. That time has arrived. Thank you. Same message? Same message. People know this. They feel it all over the world. They know what's going on. Many 
may not know how or why, they just feel it. They may not even know who. The left is being used by the corporations. And I know this sounds like a leftist message, but the leftists have deserted this message. They were right about the government and corporations. They were correct about that. Too many of us, me included, dismissed the fear of corporations getting in bed with the government. We dismissed it. We didn't see it. They did. And now for some reason, they've just got into bed with them. Whether they know it or not, they have become everything they claimed to despise. To win, we must not do the same thing.